M0FXB Elinco DDX100E model. Let's add a memory channel. We're in VFO mode by pressing the VM button here, like so. There's memory. You can see there's a channel I set up earlier for C4FM, channel number one. Press again, we're back in VFO mode. So let's add our DMR hotspot. So we'll type in the frequency, go 431.55, and then you don't need to type the whole lot, just press set, and it adds the noughts for you. So 431.550, and we might as well do the mode now. So we go mode, uh, down to digital, set, and then DMR, set. Now we'll press the function button, just here. Press that once and press quite quickly, press VM. And we go into program mode. Now we can go enter here and choose a different channel if you want, but we're gonna keep it there, okay? So we're gonna go set. So we'll keep it at number two. We've done the frequency. We've selected DMR, the step's fine. And I'm not gonna go into settings now, just keep going. We can assign a bank, but I'm not doing that in this video. We can even assign a, a location. Keep going, and then we're going to give it a name. We'll go set. Now, when you first see this, it is a bit, oh, my God, what's all that? But the simpleness of it is that skip is left, scan is right. So skip, left, scan, right, and then VM is backspace. And then to change the sort of character, whether it's a number or a letter ETC, is, uh, is the mode button. So let's just do it. So here goes. We'll just go to start to turn. What have we got now? We want to put in hotspot. Okay, so we're going to turn to H. And it does cycle through to capitals and small. H. Move to the right is scan. So we'll go scan. And then hot. Get in there. That's it. And we'll set now. We did want to set an you know a number. You just press mode, look. And it and it, you've got four symbols, four numbers, and so on. So the two you're basically using are these two. So if we go four numbers, just so you can see. Go set, and then so now the last one is numbers, look. Okay, and if you want to change back, go mode, go back to symbols, actually not symbols, alphabet, set, and then you can keep going through, and it does do capitals and lowercase. Hot spot, that'll do, that's near enough. Set, and then you do have to write it. You can go back, but you have to write it set. And then you go to the left and go set and it does give you the ability to put you know these channels into banks as well so let's just see if it's there a minute so we've got gb3 it and number two is hotspot okay let's just do one more and then we'll look at the the bank section which i've not done before so vfo we're going to go 433.55 hit the uh set that's my d star one so we'll go menu uh, set and we're going to go D star set then we're going to go F and VM and it takes us straight to number three we've got D star we've got the frequency we've got the step um, let's go to the bank let's assign it to a bank see that so we'll go set and we're going to go set again and we're going to assign it to bank A set Set, but let's give the bank a name. Let's go set. Let's, go, let's call it D star. So we'll go D. So we can name, even without the software, we can name banks and we can add memory channels. It's D. Scan moves us across. S. T. Because you want to be able to do things on the fly, don't you? Because chances are you're going to be told something you want to quickly put it in your scanner d star set um and that's it i think go back uh go back we want to write it now so we want to go back we know we're in d we're in bank on 
So it looks like Moni Squelch is back. So we'll just go Moni Squelch. Assign and then writing set to the left. Yes. So we've now got three memory channels. Go into VFO and memory. And also, but one of them is in a, is in a bank, uh, which we didn't do before. Just seeing if we can see if it tells us if it's in a bank when we're actually viewing the channel. But I hope this helps you with your memory channels. And uh, yeah, loving the blue. And of course, you can assign colors just by going to set, display, set. And then I just try and remember how to do it. Display color, set, and then you've got graphics color, which is the text. Then you've got the background set and I set blue. OK, but um, if you go in, you can choose red. Set. Whoa, <laughs> I love it. Set. And if we just, I'm just trying to think if we have to save it. Set. We can go back, can't we? Go here with the back button. Yeah. Whoa, that is bright. And um, let's go to back to VFO. Of course, we can type in freak. So we've got 133.850. Set, I think eight five zero is what I meant. Step, let's leave it at one K. Set five. Oh, we want to have a zero off that. Is that you see cheat quicker? Just to type it, isn't it? We go go back, and it gives you other places where you can go back. So we go one three three dot eight five zero set they are and that's my air band one you go mode back up to analog set am set i'll show you one more cool thing is if you go menu but to set and then go to display mode set and go gps set whoa come on I mean, I think it's a fantastic little scanner. It is quite pricey, but this is the the newest model. It's the really it covers DMRD, Star Fusion, NXD, MP25, all those kind of stuff. You look at all the modes, yeah. Obviously, AM, FM, and look, DCR, DMR, DPMR, D Star, and also you've got this AIS and ACARS as well, which I'm going to do videos on as as well. I mean, look at that. It's got my exact location there. I think it's good myself. And yeah, we do need to get the firmware working and the, the software and all that. But it'll come. It'll come. Just be patient. Bye for now. Seven three.